Uh, today, I will hold hearings and sign eight bills that address the pay disparities within the city municipal workforce and provide support for New Yorkers with disabilities, living in shelters, and affordable housing. And, you know, we like to say this is a five-borough administration, and we have a five-borough team, and I'm happy to see uh, the commissioner here. Could commissioner carry on. Good to see you here. Uh, our city workers keep our city going. And I see how hard they work to ensure New Yorkers get the services they need and deserve. And we were proud to announce a contract with uh, part of our municipal workforce, DC 37. But these bills today really uh, personifies the energy and the belief we have as not only this mayoral administration, but the city council members under Speaker Adrian Adams. Intros 515-A, 527-A, 541-A addresses uh, pay, they address pay disparities and diversity within municipal, the municipal workforce. Uh, every day our administration fights for equity, equality, dignity, and opportunity for all, something that both the speaker and I believe are hallmarks of our administrations. Uh, because this can't be the greatest city in the world until everyone has an equal chance to contribute and live here, we will continue to forge ahead. And that includes our sisters and brothers with disabilities. Uh, New York City must be a city that is accessible for everyone. Intros 92-A, 375-A, 141-A, and 676-A will make our buildings, our shelters, and our affordable housing more accessible for New Yorkers with disabilities. Last night, thousands of children slept in shelter beds, and the average family experiencing homelessness now stays in a shelter for better than two years. Intro 421-A will help the city better understand what families with children are going through in shelters. The eight bills show how we get stuff done for New Yorkers in partnership with the council. And I cannot thank the speaker enough. These bills are crucial as we move forward and deal with those with great needs in the city. I want to thank the speaker, Adrian Adams, Council Member uh, De La Rosa, Council Member Ayala, Council Member Hudson, who's here with us today, uh, Council Member Lewis, who, who has also joined us, uh, Council Member Riley, uh, Commissioner of the Department of Social Services, Gary Jenkins, uh, Commissioner of the Mayor's Office, Office for People with Disability, Christina Curry, and Acting Department of Buildings Commissioner uh, Casimir, as well as Chief Technology Officer Matthew Frazier. We also want to thank Office of Technology and Innovation, Deputy Commissioner Ryan uh, Birchmeyer, and Commissioner for Department of Citywide Administrative Services, uh, Don Pinnock, and Assistant Commissioner for Department of Citywide Administration, Administrative Services. And now I will invite the public uh, to comment on any of the bills if we have any. Good, that means we're doing the right thing. Uh, so, and, and uh, and I want to now really turn it on to a, a the speaker who has been a real partner in these important issues uh, to uh, make a few comments. Speaker. Thank you so much, Mr. Mayor, and uh, good morning once again, everyone. I just want to acknowledge once again that uh, we are joined by our mayor, Eric Adams, of course, and council members Lewis and Hudson for this monumental signing. Back in 2018, in my first term as a council member, the council began this push for pay equity in our municipal workforce that we've continued to pursue. We passed Local Law 18 of 2019, which requires the Mayor's Office of Data Analytics to report municipal employee pay data publicly and to provide the council with direct access to the data in order to conduct its own statistical analysis that re results in the publication of an annual pay equity report. The council's team of data scientists studied this data for our second report last year. It found not only pay disparities within titles, but also occupational segregation, which has resulted in women and people of color being disproportionately concentrated in the lowest paid roles in our city's workforce. As the daughter 
of a longtime civil servant, I understand well how the civil service provides a pathway to economic mobility and the middle class, especially for black and Latino New Yorkers. It's what helped my own family thrive in this city. But the promise of civil service pathways and the health of our municipal workforce are undermined when we allow pay disparities that disproportionately impact women and people of color to persist. It's unacceptable and demands our immediate attention, which is why the council prioritized this pressing issue. My bill, Introduction 515A, will require city agencies to conduct an analysis of compensation data and measures to address pay disparities and occupational segregation. It would also require DCAS to set up a three-year analysis on a number of civil service titles. Taken together with Councilmember De La Rosa and Councilmember Lewis's bills, we're taking critical next steps to eliminate pay disparities and enact policies that promote greater diversity and equity in our workforce. I also want to speak about the importance of the other pieces of legislation signed into law today, including bills that will enhance the accessibility of our city's buildings and homeless shelters and increase transparency about homelessness. These are smart measures that will ultimately benefit the residents of our city, particularly those who are the most vulnerable in our communities. The council is focused on improving the lives of all New Yorkers and finding new ways to make our entire city function better. We will continue to do that in partnership with those who are most impacted by city policies. I'm very grateful to my council colleagues for their leadership and, of course, for Mayor Adams for signing this legislation into law today. Thank you very much. I want to uh, both hear from uh, our two council members who are present here today. Uh, council member uh, Hudson, who's the sponsor of intro 676-A. Councilwoman. Thank you. Um, first, I just wanna commend my colleagues on uh, pay parity and continuing that really important work uh, to ensure that we see real true pay parity and pay equity um, here in New York City. Um, I'm honored to be here at the bill signing for Introduction 676A, which will ensure that 100% of city subsidized developments incorporate universal design elements like proper door handles, sufficient clearances to accommodate a wheelchair, lower adjustable countertops, grab bars, or wall reinforcement for the future installation of grab bars, and light switches and outlets in accessible locations. I always say that when we uh, design and plan and legislate for those who are most vulnerable, then everybody benefits. And when you think about even something as simple as a doorknob, uh, if you plan for older adults who might be experiencing arthritis, um, and then you think about you know veterans or other folks with, with disabilities who might be missing limbs, and think about the type of door levers as opposed to having to put your hand around a, a doorknob and turn it. Um, that's the type of uh, change and that's the type of accessibility that we're creating with this bill. So thank you to everyone who's worked on it and thank you to the mayor, of course, for signing it. Thank you. Great, great points that you raised. And of course, uh, we want to now turn it over to council member Lewis, who's the sponsor of intro 541-A. Councilwoman. Good morning, everyone. Thank you, Mayor Adams, for this opportunity. As a member of the New York City Council, I'm proud to see that our city is making progress on our pay parity journey, and we've been at it for a while. And I'm glad to see we are committed to continuing efforts to address the pervasive issue of pay parity, particularly for women of color. Advancing pay parity and diversity in our municipal workforce is a top priority for the city council and this administration. Equal pay for equal work is not only a moral imperative, but a fundamental right and the cornerstone of a just society. I want to thank Speaker Adams for her leadership and support on the pay parity package and congratulate my colleagues on their bills today to advance the city forward on affordable and accessible housing. And I applaud Mayor Adams for his commitment to creating pay parity in the city of New York and to continuing to get things done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, so I want to thank all of my partners in government, and we will now uh, sign the bill. S Speaker, I will give you the bills for your colleagues that didn't get. Did you read the, uh, the commissioners and the agents? Bye. 
Mm-hmm. 